Hi everyone, welcome back to another Blue 8 Renewables YouTube video. Today we are on a customer install. We will be installing two Fox EP5 batteries, a Fox inverter and 10 solar panels. Really excited to get this install underway. Let's start. So we measured out and we put in uh, the 3.7 uh, inverter, two HP5 batteries in the junction box and some containment ready to start wiring it up. We're going to put a new subboard over this side. We're going to go up and over in conduit back down here. Um, AC isolator and AC input there. DCs are going to come in here. DC isolator there. And then the battery output's just coming out of the bottom of the containment there. Oh, you won't make it look any more graceful than that. <laughs> Since I last spoke to you, we've just put in uh, the new four-way board for the solar, just to make sure we're completely 18th edition compliant. So we've got a surge protection device and a bi-directional RCBO which will service the solar. We split the main tails so that we can feed the new board. So we've got three Henley blocks there. This services the Henley blocks. Henley blocks split the supply between the existing board, which as you can see, isn't great. That's why we've chosen to put our own in. And of course, this one, which will feed the solar. So we've ran the AC supply round now, uh, terminated into an AC isolator and a generation meter to supply the inverter. We're just about finishing up the battery terminations. They just need tidying up a little bit, but they're connected in parallel via the inverter. And then we've ran our data cable, which runs all the way back to the mains on the other side, on the other side of this wall for our current transformer. So uh, we've got an AC isolation point. Uh, it's an MCS regulation that we have uh, AC isolation at both sides unless it's within three meters of the mains, which of course it quite comfortably is. So we've got our main isolator there for maintenance and emergencies. And uh, again, MCS regulation, generation meter. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Um, I'm pre-commissioning the inverter, so I'm making sure that the batteries are available to run the house. So when we fire it up with the DC with the PV connected, we should be we should already know that they, that it will all run. It's not going to give us any errors, and it's uh, good to go. Yep, and it is putting out 100 watts at the moment. So that's just what the house is demanding. So, uh, finished the install, uh, we've brought in the DCs uh, into a four pole DC isolator to supply the new inverter. It's all been commissioned, cleaned and running and ready to go. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.